how's the shoulder feel? And, and did, did you hurt it on that interception? What, 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 what did you do to it in, in the opener? Uh, yeah, I just, I just, uh, I did hurt it on the interception. I just banged it up a little bit, you know, uh, football is one of those games, sadly, where you, you can't necessarily, uh, escape injury. So you just, you find a way to play through it and, and deal with it. We got great, a great, you know, training staff around here. So I trust those guys with giving me the right treatment and stuff. And I just come to work every day and try to make myself, uh, or try to help myself be ready to play. Mike Spafford. Hey, Darnell, you got me. Yeah, I can hear you. Um, with uh, obviously George Kittle's a, a big challenge with uh, them as their top tight end. What uh, what's the key for you guys to you know try to prevent him from you know getting those big explosive plays? Yeah, well, um, you know their 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 whole offense is because uh, the thing with them is you got to be really disciplined with your eyes. You know, you got to read your keys and they keep you real honest. So uh, we got to make sure that we just reading our keys and not trying to. Uh, you know, jump any plays or anything like that, because, you know, at the end of the day, they have a lot of misdirection and stuff that can uh, really fool you. So you just got to play, read your keys. And um, at the end of the day, it's just, you know, we're just going out there and and we're playing just like them. So um, we're not necessarily looking at it as people. You know what I'm saying? We just got to go out there and play. Bill Huber. Hey, Darnell, after you just said that, you're probably going to shoot down this question, but what have you seen from Debo Samuel? Uh, he's a guy that, you know, they, they try to find a lot of ways to get the ball in his hands. Uh, you know, he's an explosive guy. He's, he's good uh, just running after the catch or even if they give him a handoff or screens or anything. So, um, you know, obviously he's a guy that's, that's going to be involved. But they have a lot of good guys over there on the offense that, uh, you know, they I think they do a good job with kind of spreading, spreading everything around, you know. And like I said, just keeping you honest. So, Ryan Wood, do you have another? I do. Darnell, Jerry Gray's been telling us that you, you've uh, you've been not bugging him, but really asking, requesting to, to play that star position. What, what is it about the star position that you feel like would make you such a good fit there? And, and do you expect th those opportunities to come? Um, I wouldn't even, you know, us, you know, like I, I really like I think our room is really special. You know, I, I really, truly believe that because we do have a lot of guys that can that can play, you know, a lot of different positions. And, you know, it's, it's not just the star position. There's plenty of different positions out there. There's times where we have, you know, six DBs on the field. So it's like, you know, obviously we all want to play in all different spots because it's fun. You know, at the end of the day, it's football. So um, we're going out there having fun. So we're just, shoot, if one person's at the nickel or the star or whatever, it's cool. And then we can just rotate in. So it's, it's fun. But, um, you know, it's not necessarily something that I'm, like, focused on or worried about a lot. So. Mike Spafford. Yeah, Darnell, um, Eric Stokes obviously played uh, a lot more snaps in the second game compared to the first game. Just uh, as a teammate, fellow DB, what are you what are you seeing from him in terms of his progress? Uh, one thing I will say, uh, I think he's he's learning from his mistakes. You know, uh, he's really he's really receptive to like what we tell him and. Because, you know, it's, it's tough coming as rookie because the, the college game and the, the NFL game is so different, just how offenses kind of try to set you up and do different things. Uh, so the fact that he's um, as open to asking questions and learning from us as he is, it's going to do nothing but help him. So, um, you know, I'm really like that's what I'm most impressed by, just the fact that how receptive he is and uh, how many questions he asks. And he really takes it out there to the field with him. So. Bill Huber. Yeah, Darnell, what went right during the second half against Detroit for your defense? Uh, you know, we, we just settled in. You know, it's it's. I mean, that's the first time we played in a a pack Lambo in you know two years. So it's like, um, you know, we just really had to just settle in. You know, everybody's kind of you know excited and anxious. You know, but once we kind of settled in and and honed in on what we had to do, uh, I think we played a lot better in the second half. So, you have another one, Bill. I do. Um, so can that carry over into this game or is every game just totally individual of the next? Like, in other words, does, does, does momentum carry over or not? Uh, absolutely. But I mean, at the end of the day, you, you, you gotta, you gotta move on to each, each game and, and just try to play, make your next game, your best game, you know? So <laughs> you gotta make your next game, your best game. So, um, Cause that's just like, if you're coming off of a good week, you can't necessarily carry that into the next week. You know what I'm saying? Cause if you're thinking about stuff that happened in the past, you're not going to be ready for the present. So uh, we're just really just trying to stay in the present. Just that's what I think that if you think of the mindset of you make the next game, your best game, then 
you know, you can do nothing but improve. So.